In this video, I want to talk about how you can learn chemistry and what is the best way to learn chemistry. When you are trying to learn any subject, the best thing you can do is focus on that subject. And I know that sounds simple, but that's all you have to do. The great mathematician Paul Halmos used to say that whenever he was trying to learn any particular subject in mathematics, he would surround himself with as many problems as possible. And just basically do as many problems as you can. So how do you do that with chemistry? If you're watching this video, you probably already have a chemistry textbook. You probably already have a pretty good book you can use. And I'll leave a link in the description to a standard popular chemistry textbook that you can use if you don't have one. But if you already have one, just keep the one you have and use that. Instead, I'm going to give you something else, something that's going to help you get better. Something that is going to allow you to do what the legendary mathematician Paul Hamels did, but with chemistry. And you only need one book. That book is this one here. It's called 3,000 Solved Problems in Chemistry. This book has 3,000 solved problems in chemistry that you can use to learn chemistry. It smells amazing. Even just picking it up off my table here, it's like, oh, it smells so good. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this book is like. And you're going to be blown away by the simplicity of the layout. And if you're not already, it has 3,000 problems. And I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. This is the book, 3,000 Solved Problems in Chemistry. And this is from the Shams series. So Shams makes all kinds of books for all kinds of subjects. As a collector of math and science books, I have over 40 different Shams books, most of them being on mathematics, but I do have a few chemistry ones. And I think this one is amazing. With this book, you can learn to do tons of problems. This book seems like it's really old, but it's not. It's actually from 87, which it's been a while, but it smells like it's from the 50s or something. It's got an incredible smell. And again, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to um, check it out. So here are the contents, so we can look at them so you can see what it contains. Measurement, structure of matter, the periodic table, chemical formulas. There's some more topics here. I'll go briefly, I wanna show you what the actual um, problems look like because you're gonna be really surprised. But let's go through the content so you can see that it probably has everything you need and more in order to master chemistry, right? You can become really, really good with a book like this because you have problems with not just answers but solutions. This part is really interesting and I think it resonates with uh, what I often say about mathematics. So to the student, the best way to ensure that you understand the concepts of general chemistry is to solve many problems on each topic. You should attempt a large number of different problems rather than merely reworking the same problems again and again since you might have a tendency to memorize the solution in the latter case. Be sure to read each problem carefully since a small difference in the wording of a problem can make a large difference in its solution. Since there is no set order of topics in general chemistry text, you will have to consult the table of contents in this book to find the problems you wish to do. Exactly. So basically, when you're using this, you just go to the contents and you can find what you need and just practice those problems for those topics. The problems in each section start with the more basic ones and progress to those that are more difficult. In some chapters, you may find problems based on material which you have not yet covered in your course. Do not attempt to do these before you cover the material on which they are based. For example, some texts cover equilibrium before thermodynamics, while others cover it afterward. Do not attempt a section on the thermodynamics of equilibrium until you have been introduced to both topics in your course. Right. And here it talks about how there's numerous methods uh, to solve both most problems. The solution methods are usually related to each other, but may seem very different. In this book, some related problems are solved using one method and some with another. Many of the problems, especially in the early chapters, use several solution methods. Very nice. You should attempt to do the problems yourself before looking at the solutions. Absolutely. And if you get the correct answer, uh, you know, don't worry that you didn't use the method they used. And I always say that with mathematics, true, too, with very good wise words here. 
If the method presented is clearer than the one you used, however, you might consider adopting it for future similar problems. Right, so just good solid advice, worth reading. And here it starts, right? So you can see, this is the powers of 10, from 10 to the negative 4 to uh, 10 to the 6, together with their explicit meanings. And you see, um, it just does it for you right there, right? And then here is another one. So this little box means it's the answer. So you have the questions and you have the answers, right? Questions and answers. Let's turn to like a random page so you see. Here's chapter 6 on the uh, electronic structure of the atom. And there's, there's the first question there. Okay, so you can see here, uh, describe briefly the contribution to the present theory of atomic structure made by each of the following. And then you've got these different scientists here. Oh, there's Schrodinger. Oh, yeah, Schrodinger. Good to see Schrodinger make an appearance uh, in this book. <laughs> Heisenberg is always a fun one. Um, so, yeah, and then he's, and they have the answers here. What are the possible values? Here he goes, another, another question here for n equals 3. And you can see that it basically goes through and just gives you answers to tons of problems, right? It gives you full, full work solutions. I'm sorry, I have to smell it one more time. It just smells incredible. So what you'll notice is that um, this book doesn't actually teach you chemistry, right? It's a book that will help you get better at chemistry, but you do need to have uh, an actual chemistry textbook. So again, I'll leave links in the description to both this book and to a chemistry textbook or two that you can check out if you don't have one so you can learn chemistry. But this is going to help you learn chemistry um, more because you learn by doing, right? It's just like mathematics, right? Just like Paul said, right, whenever you're trying to learn a new subject, get as many examples as you can. This book instantly gives you 3,000 solved problems in chemistry. So it just doesn't matter where you are in your chemistry journey, right? A book like this is going to help you. And it's just you're good. the process of doing these problems and going through them is going to make you just so much better at chemistry. It really is a goldmine of information. It's, it's amazing that there's not more books like this. And there is one for physics as well which is also excellent, but yeah, fantastic book. And I just wanted to make you aware of it. I've had this book for several years now and it just, my copy smells amazing. If you wanna learn mathematics, by the way, I actually do have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, but if you decide to buy my courses, um, you know, check it out, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy website, but um, please use the links from my website as it helps me greatly. And also, I've lowered the prices to make them really low. So I have like calculus courses, algebra courses, uh, all types of math. Uh, I don't have a chemistry course. <laughs> Sorry. This is a chemistry video, but I thought I would just mention it. I also have another YouTube channel where I post fitness videos and product reviews. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So feel free to subscribe if you want to get in shape or follow me on my fitness journey or watch random videos on products. But the main thing you should take away from this video is that I think this is an excellent book for people who are learning chemistry. And lots of people have to take chemistry. Um, I'm not saying it's the best book on chemistry. I'm saying it's the best one that's gonna give you this many problems. I can't think of another chemistry book in the world that has like this many solved problems, right? Even if you could find some textbook that actually had like tons of exercises, like 3000, which I don't know of any, um, you wouldn't find any that have like all of these solutions like this. And hopefully if you buy a copy, Hopefully your copy smells as good as mine because this thing, ah, oh, it's just so good. It reminds me, uh, I, used, I used to collect comic books. I, I should start, I should basically, I wish I, I should start again, but I used to, and I probably should start again because I really want to. Uh, and old comic books have this smell. This reminds me of like the old comic book smell. Anyways, enough about comic books. Uh, wonderful book. And the, the way to do it is just sit down and start doing problems. But again, you do need a chemistry book in order to read this. It's not like... It's not like the other shams, and I, that's why I keep saying that. Most of the other shams, they have like a little introduction where like they actually teach you the stuff, and then they have some, like here, like organic molecules. They would have like a little intro section here, then you have examples. Not the case here. It's just, it's just problems, okay? So you do need to have another resource, and then um, you can use this book. But worth getting, and yeah, that's it. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. I post all kinds of... Uh, mostly educational content here on this channel. And yeah, check out the Fitness Sorcerer for fitness content. Until next time, good luck, take care, and keep doing mathematics and chemistry.